Welcome back to Panoi Crossover. We're still here. Let's talk about the new branded, the new, you know, fresh vibe of this tournament that every Filipino knows about, M Cup in Hoop Dome, correct? Right. So let's talk about that. Clyde, tell us, walk us through um, your vision of M Cup, this new branded. Or how did vision. it come together first? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, thank you for, uh, for hyping it up. Mm. Like, yeah. man. Uh, I'll just give you an experience. I'm a, a product of M Cup, or what we call it, Maboy Cup. For mm. years, I've been playing in Maboy Cup, and, you know, the level of competitiveness had never uh, slowed down. Like, it's innovating. Mm -hmm. or a year to year basis. Now, um, I'm very, very thankful to, to have this opportunity to now be the new chair to take over um, from PIDC. And I can never thank Philippine Independent State Council for giving me mm -hmm. this opportunity. I mean, uh, by giving this opportunity means to also uh, expand the opportunity to the basketball players around who supported the uh, Mavoy Cup for the past 15 years. Mm -hmm. And sure. truly the simple vision is to unite everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, unite everybody uh, within the Toronto. I mean, Toronto is a, it's a, it's, it's a booming basketball city. Mm -hmm. right? sure. For like the past two years, we've got women's basketball that just came out of nowhere. Canada yeah. basketball has been crazy. Mm -hmm. Our juniors, ba junior basketball level has been up there. Our, our FIBA basketball is crazy. And then, Last year, uh, with and I got to special, especially mention these guys because mm -hmm. they're very, you know, near to my heart. Uh, the Rice Tribe, mm -hmm. who we did a Filipino Heritage Month in yeah. Toronto Raptors 905 meeting, and we're gonna do it again next mm -hmm. month, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But it's gonna be exciting. One, I'm gonna yeah, be it's March 11th. March 11th. March 10th. March 10th. March 10th. And, yeah. and, and the brand of basketball is exploding, left, mm -hmm. right, and center. So for Mabuhay Cup, we are paving the way. Right? Mm -hmm. We're paving the way for upcomers, mm -hmm. for, for the youth, for, mm -hmm. for, uh, for, for women's basketball. Uh, and whether if it's you're just a newcomer from the Philippines or you've been here for a long time or you have hoop dreams going back to the Philippines, uh, I think the vision of our brand, mm -hmm. of our new brand, has resonated to something of a newer approach mm -hmm. or something that a tournament that, uh, it's not just a tournament, but it's the event that you want to see on mm -hmm. a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. An event that, something that you look forward to. You know, one of the things that, uh, the wow factor that we want to present, and we're going to surprise you because mm -hmm. I know it's a couple of months from now, but my team and I have been working hand in hand every single day. And then from uh, even today, like even tonight, like we discussed every enormous things about basketball. Mm -hmm. and how we can enhance basketball and, and give it to the newcomers, right? Mm -hmm. Where the upcomers, and in a sense where, uh, going back to an event, you know, when you look at a, a basketball event, what do you really entail? Mm -hmm. It's the experience, correct? Yeah. It's the overall factor yeah. of that. So if we provide an experience that are, 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 is always unique to people. Okay. And it's definitely something that we can provide a, a, a way for, for diversity, mm -hmm. right? Because if you see right now, you, if you go on, on a lot of organizations everywhere in Toronto, you'll see a Filipino guy that yeah. plays on every organization. Yeah. Yeah. Point guard. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no, point, point guard. Point guard. Point guard. Point guard. Yeah. Always point guard. Yeah. Yeah. Always yeah. getting recruited. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So you know, and just uh, again, I've, I've I've met a lot of good guys uh, um, from from M Cup, and we participate on a yearly basis. And all these guys that have have, have already uh, risen to their career, such as James Forrester, mm -hmm. such as AJ Sergio, Norman Pinola, Norbert Torres, mm -hmm. Matthew Wright, all these guys that uh, had paved the way for Toronto. Are, and if you look at their careers, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they've, they've given, you know, Filipino Canadian hoop moves, giving them a reality mm -hmm. to say, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? Not just because I'm six foot three, mm -hmm. I'll be dominant. Man, you can be five foot ten, but you're shooting everywhere in the court. Mm -hmm. And you know, 
you cannot be recognized. But there's just really aspects of that, right? Mm -hmm. There's just aspects of how you brand yourself and how you brand basketball as a whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here we are. Uh, we, we want to enhance a lot of things from a boy cup, and we are very, very excited. We're very, uh, we're very static on how we can uh, develop newer programs, mm -hmm. uh, especially for the kids and for the women's basketball, for, mm -hmm. for, for everybody. Because mm -hmm. it starts young. Like if you start them young and they get into basketball early, that's when you can build all the skill sets, really the fundamentals. Of right? course, of yeah. course. And, and going back to being young, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm also a father, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for us dads who sees our kids holding a basketball, it's all mm -hmm. about, hey, if these guys start shooting, what development program are we going to bring them? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which organization do we they need to go to? Which, yeah. which pavement? So you got to have that trust. You got to have that, that, uh, uh, that, it, that wow factor where, hey, you know what? If I'm going to bring them to this type of organization because we trust them, we make sure that, that uh, they're in the right place and then the right uh, mentorship, mm -hmm. the right community, mm -hmm. right? And community is the way to discuss. And community is, is, is how we brand ourselves, we pride ourselves from a boy club. Mm -hmm. right. Now, there, there's a lot of different tournaments out there. Mm -hmm. So you said unique and you say wow factor. I just want a little tease. Like, For what's... Sure. Something, something. Yeah, I'm going to make little, this. No surprise. I'm going to make little, this the, right. the in tournament. In the tournament. Like, Give me yeah. a little jab. I oh, want to know. Okay. One jab. Only one jab. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not two-way jabs. We just want to know what's going to make, gonna make yeah. this the tournament of the summer. That one, one of the... The premier Because what I've noticed, too, is that, hey, M Cup is always trending on Twitter, even though they didn't have a social media page. Because a lot of people use M Cup to to exactly. come together. So with that so. being said, uh, we now have a website. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. www.cupbasketball.com. Mm -hmm. We also have our newly re renewed so as, uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. right? So all of our updates, all of our, 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 um, our updates, our, our, um, our trends, our, our factors, our wild factors are there. And you know what? I'll, you know, moving forward with jabs, yeah. <laughs> if, if you take a look at this right now, yeah. we're also going to sell our own merchandising, mm. right, for M Club. So, oh, yeah. Well, see that? See that right there? there? There's a preview yeah, right there. That's a preview right there. Nice we got, we got the jab, the jab right there. there. We, we got a jab. We didn't even know it was coming. How did it get on me? We didn't even know it was coming. It just came on me, man. It was good. Exactly. I just flicked my hand like that, and then look at that. That's a preview right there. Some M Cup gear. So, but what do you guys think about it, though? Like, what do you guys think? What do you guys feel about it? Like, uh, the logo? I know, I know Jerry's yeah. mad because he doesn't have one. <laughs> no, this is the exclusive sample. <laughs> exclusive sample. Uh, uh, I, you can't, well, I, won't, yeah. I won't be able to show it to you. It's blurbed out. He got left behind, like, when I crossed him over. Uh, <laughs> no, but from, from my perspective, mm. I think the teachers are, they look high quality. Yeah. Like, they mm. really look good. The logo, yeah. it's, not, it's not that logo that's stitched on onto a t-shirt. Yeah. Mm. For me, when I, look, when I look at it, Yes. It's on the yeah. t-shirt, not yeah. not stitched. Yeah. Like it looks beautiful. And like, I'll tell you something. Yeah. To create a logo like that, it was I I, I got to give it to my team. And yeah. you know, for them, it's you know when you when when they are here right now, and if you're gonna interview me, mm -hmm. these type of things, the logo, the operations, I gotta mm -hmm. give those kudos to them mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. without them, there's no me. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. without me and them, there's no Mabuai Club. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just to conclude, having uh, a team like that with, uh, you know, with a voluntarily work, mm -hmm. you know, with hours of putting in some inputs, some uh, uh, um, um, projects, some content, even on the website. If you check out our website right now, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take a day to make to make a website. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at our partnerships there, right, you see how solid it was because there was work that was put on into mm -hmm. it. And it was hours and there was dedication. There was time, right? And for us, guess what? Our motive, our mission, our goal is to ensure that our kids, we do this for the kids. Mm -hmm. We do this for sure. them. They mm -hmm. make us because of who they are. And what we wanted to do is to resonate that. We wanted to, you know, to show the community what Filipino basketball is all about, mm -hmm. like who we are. The yeah. good thing is actually, like, what you mentioned is add-on to that is that that was the goal of our show. We wanted to create exposure and to actually 
have as much exposure for kids that are playing here locally in in in, in Toronto in the GTA area and and expose them to you know to US to Philippines so then you know a lot of the scouts or people that are looking to play overseas or looking to play you know b college basketball in the US can see you know these kids that we're interviewing exactly. or these kids that we're profiling and then it's great that you know the same vision that you have for M Cup is the same thing why we're doing this mm -hmm. so if you look at my generation compared to everybody's generation from the past like let's yeah. take take a step back mm -hmm. and talk about Gilas a little bit yeah. right our Gila team has been solid, consistent mm -hmm. for the past three, four years. Yeah. But back in the day, uh, with Benji Paras, Cizo, yeah. with Dindo yeah. Pomarin, with uh, Marlo Aquino, it was only about one six foot nine. There was only one seven footer. Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at the generation nowadays, you see a Matthew Daves, mm. who's a six foot six, pure yeah, legit, you, know? yeah. you have a Christian David who dunks mm. over people. Like, yeah. you know, it's, in, it's enormous. Like, we, we talk about this and we're like, hey, what's Canada feeding these guys? Right? Yeah. Like, what? It's yeah. true. It's but Canadian food. Yeah. It's Canadian food. <laughs> but they're just, you know, and, yeah. and, and and that's where natural talent has to come in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, Jordan Clarkson had led that. Yeah. Like, paved way through. Mm, it's true. Right? And Jordan's a nice guy. We, we brought yeah. him in a boy club two years, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Team. And you know what? Uh, when he saw my boy club, you know, the first thing that he mentioned to Chris Akopala, by the way, Chris, what's up? If, you, if you're watching this TV, you should be here right now. <laughs> <laughs> so a good friend, Chris Akopala and Jason Tianko. Wow, Jason Tianko too. Mm, wow. yeah. The guy is very, you know, hands down, yeah. you know, works day in, day night. But anyways, yeah. uh, the, the effort to bring Jordan Clarkson here, and he's, Jordan Clarkson sees how when he was a rookie, yeah. And then he saw how the kids warmed up to him and said, man, Jordan, how are you? You know what? I'm so glad this, that, and that. Yeah. And he, he texted everybody. He said, man, oh, man, and even tweeted that. He goes, I'm here in Toronto right now. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy how people reacted, it's how true. the kids reacted yeah. to it. Yeah. And, you know, we touched Jordan's heart yeah. because, man, Filipinos in Toronto can ball, bro. Yeah. <laughs>